I'm Raymond Bondad, correspondent for Coachella Unincorporated. I'm here in Coachella to profile a local hip-hop artist by the name of Reimer, who will be talking about how his childhood here in Coachella has influenced his hip-hop music. Coming from the south, but I stay on the west coast Where we either sell or grow in all the best row Loving where I'm from, uh, love Growing up, man, it was just, it was crazy, you know what I mean? You had cholos and gangsters pretty much all around us, so I mean, you had to either adapt or you were you weren't living right. So man. we were. I grew up on five two, man. I, I grew up there probably about seven years. Wow. Then we moved over there to fifty, and then that's pretty much where I spent all my and high school it, years. It influenced me to write music because I saw how so many people were living out here. I mean, you know what I mean? Be besides doing drugs and selling drugs and all that, I was just I'm cool, man. I'd rather do something productive. So I started making music. Growing up out here, man, you you had a you had to learn real quick what pretty much all the drugs were. I mean, it was it was it was bad, man. It was, it was so bad that people were just doing it right in front of kids, like it was no thing, you know. You no, know, a lot of my friends had parents for dope heads. You know what I mean like I mean they were just they were dope head parents. They would they would come home all hours of the night, sometimes for days, using up all the food stamps on dope. And you know I mean like it was the worst thing I've ever seen. And then. It inspired me to come up with the song Dope Babies, which basically talks about the life of, a, of an average dope baby with so little to do out here. You know I mean, because the Coachella Valley, I mean, it's growing fast, but you can see that when kids get everything they need and everything they want after a while, it's just they want things that they don't have yet. He was only 13, but you couldn't really see it. Pain in his eyes, fake smiles in the highs. Those who didn't pay attention couldn't believe it. How he held himself close at night when he cried. But be advised, he showed no emotion like assassins. Even if you asked him, be the same if you passed him. No retaliation, no conversation. Prolonged duration without food he's been craving. Food stamps gone, eviction notice on the table. Been so long since they were financially stable. $600 wasted. On a habit she's unable to kick like a job under the tape. Reimer is an example that the biggest dreams can start in the smallest towns. Raymond Bondad, Coachella Unincorporated.